in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen lord jesus we thank you for this beautiful day we thank you for easter lord we thank you for understanding our as as we were we were not worthy of this life of this grace but yet you died for us lord and you rose yes. again right here right now your resurrected power is in each one of us gathered here thank you jesus we thank you for the gift of your holy spirit who is our best friend who reminds us things we we keep forgetting who keeps loving us who keeps convicting us by reminding us the truth holy spirit take complete authority of this entire zoom session take complete authority of our minds and our vocal cords so that let every word that is spoken be of yours and nothing of ours lord amen praise god praise god thank you jesus okay so before we begin today uh sister sara would you like to share anything anything like uh, you know yes 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 sister can go I, ahead can i yes sister. yes sister please yeah um yeah so uh, first and foremost uh, glory to god uh, today that girl uh, whom i was telling you about uh, who's uh, uh, you know she was in ventilator uh, she has been discharged from the hospital all glory to god i'm just jumping with joy i can't tell you how much i mean it's 24 year old girl and i only told them now that they have to continue with the word praise god amazing sister see how yeah. god is working through you yesterday also there was a case where i had gone and you know what uh, that person also i ministered to i you know uh, the other day like you know i was sitting at night i was writing notes i was thinking as to what i should tell her and how i should explain to her because she was talking all negative so i didn't know what to because you know at times all of us even i have done the same thing so i am no saint or anything but i was saying like you know lord help me to bring this person because i have realized what it is to be negative and and how how it is you know when we are in the world how much it strengthens us so lord you help me to uh, speak to her and i was writing down notes i went to sister kiyomi's uh, you know session and all those things suddenly the holy spirit tells me you know uh, uh, that conviction uh, that uh, you know you are not going to prepare anything right now whatever it is i am going to speak to you through you so like you know i used loop 12 12 when i went there and uh, it was amazing that session was really really amazing and uh, the third thing that i would like to uh, uh, share is that you know i have been completely set free from one thing you know that i was uh, uh, totally i was a person who was dependent on you know either my mummy or either some uh, person like a friend or whoever i wanted even if i wanted to ask something a person from the word of god you know a person who is in the word of god who is in the ministry i would ask her either this way or that way i what how i have to say this or whatever i was depend so you know the holy spirit uh, you know i think this happened on thursday or something thursday wednesday thursday i don't remember the date uh, it was like you know i was going to sleep and i always have this habit of you know putting on the teaching and then going to sleep and the teaching goes on uh, like you know then supposing i get uh, then i uh, you know if i get up at 3 o'clock and all then i'll put it off and then i'll put my mobile on charger even if i if the teaching goes on till morning also sometimes it because my mobile is on full charge so i that sort of a thing so that day the holy spirit convicted me he said you know what who are you dependent on are you dependent on why what is the reason for you to ask somebody when you have me as the holy spirit your helper your advocate your guide everything you ask me whatever and and it came so much strong to me let me tell you from that day onwards i have been only and only fellowshipping with the holy spirit only and only anything and everything i require and i get it done anything and everything i want i get it done yesterday also uh, there was a thing like you know that lady wanted support and help and uh, uh, so i had to go to her and uh, suddenly what happened 
happened is i didn't know how to take care of my father in law before before that only i just prayed to the holy spirit holy spirit i need to go today so you help me and go to see you know there was a person who was ready and that person like you know waited till the time i came i was everything was perfectly okay so it happens like that and also now whomever i minister to those people by word of mouth tell somebody else and i get more people so every day in the morning my prayer is lord make me a fisher of men and let me glorify your name through nothing of me lord everything of you so let me glory use me mightily in your kingdom and every day i get a soul every day even just now when i was i had to cut the call the just now also that lady keeps persisting she keeps calling the same thing what i used to do to others now i understand you know lord allows it to happen sometimes to you because you he wants you to understand the other person's pain you know and this is what i learned from the lord that never ever criticize anybody if the person even whatever the person might go through he might be negative he might be whatever but with patience with endurance you have to uh, you know lovingly you have to make the person understand and yesterday the same thing i did and i experienced the glory of god you know that lady wrote to me yesterday at night sister whatever you have told me i carried a notebook with me and i said this is the notebook for you this is a pen for you to call the prayers i said this is how you have to do and you have to give me a summary every day of how what teaching you have learned and what is that what is it that you have learned and unless you are uh, you know you understand the full teaching you are not going to go, jump on to another teaching so it was really really beautiful amazing thing god is god works through you you don't have to depend on anybody anybody not even your preacher you just have to listen to the word of god that's all because everybody all of us are given the equal measure of faith equal measure of faith everything god has given us ephesians 1 3 every spiritual gift is given to us but what we do we feel i i am talking about myself i am not talking about others i am saying myself you know what you know that somebody else is much more anointed than you or somebody else is much more no though that person has labored once you once you come out of you know everything romans 12 2 when you and when you confirm your ways you renew you start renewing your mind the holy spirit works through you and everything is done just like i have seen this trisha's case right now now there is no turning back uh, priya there is no turning back i'm sorry but uh, thank you for allowing me to <laughs> talk no sister why are you stopping i'm listening and as you are speaking you know it's the holy spirit is revealing so many truths for us yes sister i i am very happy that you shared you know this testimony and you yeah. but priya, one line yeah. yes sister tell me priya i would like to say one thing you know to any or uh, to everybody who is listening here you know one thing i would like to share you know if even a person is you know he comes to you he is there and he is there in the word with you for one year or two years or whatever number of years you know even if the person is not right, you we have to make that effort you know because jesus died for us when yet we were sinners so many times don't we fall in any area you tell me are we perfect nobody is perfect on this planet earth only jesus is perfect everybody even the preacher falls even everybody has to because only god is perfect only and only jesus is perfect so we have to be very patient with everybody on this earth i feel whoever comes to us and you know because you know what and we cannot criticize anybody why is because of one reason priya is because everybody is made in the likeness of god nobody is a uh, dumb nobody is uh, uh, you know useless everybody is made in the likeness of god so all of us we have to be patient with everybody everybody this is what i realized i really realized this so and the other day let me tell you something you know it came to me i a person had hurt me a lot you know uh, and uh, you know and it was it was it was in my mind that you know that uh, that person uh, I, i what should i do it was i mean 3 uh, years 2 uh, 3 years back this was and it was like you know that person i i said no the holy spirit is telling me call up lift the phone call him up i called up and i said brother i'm really sorry uh, you know that uh, you know i how are you brother i spoke to him very nicely over after a very long time i said i'm settled in goa now everything is saying yeah very nice and all that i said do come to goa with your family and all. and then finally i told him brother if you have felt anything bad about me please forgive me i'm really sorry and then the person started blaming me i said it's okay it's okay i said even then i'm saying i'm sorry brother i'm really sorry brother you know 
forgiveness and uh, you know saying sorry and all these are you know these are things which have come very it's become a lifestyle now i can tell you priya it's become a lifestyle you know why because now the focus is completely on jesus when you love jesus no everything else becomes just i mean it's like nothing for you because you know you don't think about yourself at all you think about god you know all these things are you know if somebody hurts you somebody says something about you does your you have your focus is on what jesus says about you what other person says doesn't matter at all okay i'm sorry doesn't matter praise god wow sister i if you don't mind can i ask you some questions for the benefit yes, of, of others yes okay sister now you shared okay like how your anything life anything you can ask me anything you can ask me i'm open to anything praise god okay so now sister you said now this person with whom you are not you know in good terms with and yeah on forgiveness can you yeah. just tell us a little more on this like was it like for example when you were you going to what? call that person was it yeah. uh, you know were your emotions and feelings speaking very loudly to you sara don't do this sara don't call him why you want to call him were your thoughts speaking very loudly to you uh, you know uh, you know priya uh, i have been meditating on uh, uh, romans 12 2 okay and uh, uh, galatians 2 20 these are the two scriptures that i have been meditating on and okay. uh, you know i have been fellowship yeah i am been fellowshipping on with with uh, with the holy spirit okay and let me tell you something priya now when i uh, you know it was coming to me very strongly in all these days that i you have to uh, because i have forgiven everybody so i was thinking uh, i have forgiven everybody so uh, who else is there that i have to literally you know who else is there in the back of my mind whom i have not spoken to for quite some time and i did not even want to listen to anything what he was he used to share some videos and all i just did not want to you know see the uh, because he had hurt me a lot because you know uh, it was pertaining to the word of god only because i did not know certain things and i used to ask him and he used to give me some uh, you know roundabout answers or something like that you know and he was like very rude and all that so i was like now i said how how do i do so i just pick the phone and i said you know brother i said uh, uh, how are you brother he said uh, who is this your number I, my, my number has changed so he said who is this so i said i'm smita speaking so my previous name was smita so he knows me as smita so i said uh, uh, oh yeah where are you so i said i'm in goa so okay so i said brother next time when you come to goa do come uh, visit me with your family yes 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 now what are you doing so i told him everything and all that he said i said up in the end i'm telling him brother i'm very sorry please forgive me if i have hurt you in any way and all yeah yeah but now at, now you understand no now you understand this is how you have to do now now you have now you really the holy spirit is in within you now you you have under, now i am saying the holy spirit is telling me again say sorry to that person let it be let go let go these are the words i'm saying i said brother i'm really sorry i understand brother yes brother yes brother nothing went of mine in in fact what happened you know what happens you know after you do this the whole, you are actually you know the holy spirit is the more anointing you are getting more i, I don't know what you call it but you are getting the, that particular day you know i really experienced the glory of god in fact this trishas came case came to me i mean this person said you know that she is being you know and for me now priya i'm really being frank with you i don't think about my needs or me 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 no now it is you know a particular case which comes to me lord i want to see your gl- your glory in this particular family lord this particular family lord this person has come to me lord help this person you know that is the kind of thing now what is going on i am not bothered about you know uh, that my name somebody says good about me or bad because once you are saying that i i am crucified with christ jesus it is i am dead i am buried you know the real meaning is you are crucified when i was on good friday i really saw what it was like you know how jesus was beat then he was crucified he was nailed he was i don't know he was formless i don't know what all happened to him but along with him i was there and i have been completely dead now it is no longer i live it is now i am living in a newness of god and i am not concerned as to who says what about me or you know or 
how people uh, you know uh, feel about me no but i know only one thing i i in him and he in me that's all you know praise god you know, i am the branch you was yeah he is yes, the sister. vine and i am the branch I, I, we are the branches so we i in him and he in me you know without me you can't you can't do anything you will not be able to do and it is not saying your preacher or it is not saying your friend priya or it is not saying gizel or it is not saying xyz your mother or father or your son or no 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 it is saying you and me it is saying you and me so when we when we go to the bible simple thing when you are going through anything in life you just have to pick up your bible go through that verse again and again merit it will talk to you that verse talks to you and then you will experience the glory of god in your life i am really telling this happens i know it i have tasted the lord and now i can say boldly that the lord is good and he is good all the time and he is a real living god so whenever i go to minister to anybody the first thing that i do is i open two things one is 1 john 14 uh, and i i uh, i go to hebrews 4:12 so when they understand this and isaiah 55 11 so when they understand these three everything falls in place and then i give them romans 12 too praise god sister would you like to sh- you know teach on that scripture you just said one john which one just now you said no you give yeah, three yeah, scriptures yeah 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 i put yeah. i'll share the screen you go ahead with the uh, you know okay as the holy spirit okay. leads me Yes, sister. Go ahead. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'll just get my specs. I'm just hold on. No problem, sister. Sister, you can yeah. tell me the verse. I'll put it, and if you want, I'll read it yeah. for you. Just open. Uh. So, okay. John chapter one. it is john 1 right or yeah. first john no 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 john 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 yeah yeah so can you read uh, somebody can any can anybody read from the beginning yeah okay in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was with god in the beginning through him all things were made without okay. him okay that much only okay so so what it is saying in the beginning was the word okay in the beginning was the word so and the word was with god and the word was god he was with god in the beginning okay now see there are two things we can learn from here so in the beginning was the word and the word was with god okay and the word was god and then you go to 14 verses 14 was 14 praise god yeah. the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us okay now who was the word jesus so who was the jesus was the word right so what is it saying in the beginning the then you go to the you go to the first verse okay now it is saying that now this word is now if you see now this is the bible okay the bible is our mirror the bible is our mirror so we refer to the bible we refer to the bible for everything right so now when we say that you know in the beginning was the word so the word was jesus we have understood that the word but if you if you are carnal minded if you cannot if you if you if you feel uh, if i tell a, a, a new person you know a person who is new to the word if i tell the person you know what uh, what are you holding in your hand the person will say i am holding a bible then when i tell the person now that is sense knowledge what the person is feeling it's a book it's a bible you know Uh, the bible has pages so that's i'm just reading a bible book which is a word of god fine that's it but when they understand this verse they come to know that the word that was in the beginning it was with god and the word was with, and the word was god and he came and the word was made flesh and he dwelt among us so it is jesus right 
so similar way if you see so when a person you know he touches the bible and he says lord this is i understand that this is your uh, this is you this is your flesh lord you know a person who is who is in the world will feel uh, oh uh, what is this person talking but when the person who has heart knowledge who is who 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 understands the word and who sees that this is uh, this is you know this is the body of jesus and when he touches the body of jesus when he touches the bible with faith priya i tell you i have i have i have when i first went to uh, gujarat for the meeting and when papa johnson told me to do this activity i could literally feel the power of god flowing within me and now there are times when i when i have any uh, you know any uh, uh, anything when i feel anything like you know when i'm troubled or whatever i just take the bible and i say lord jesus just as the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of your garment and felt the power flow within within her similar way lord jesus as the bible says this is your word lord and your word says that you the word was with god and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us so lord i do not see it as a book i see it as your flesh and lord i am touching your flesh and your power is flowing within me and i keep repeating this keep repeating this and i can literally feel the power flow within me now the main thing over here is uh, 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 this is one thing which you know which i have experienced the second thing uh, priya can you just go back to that uh, verse uh, yes aunty praise god thank you jesus yeah is it blessing you all yes praise god thank okay. you jesus so so all things through him he was with god now now the word was with god and the word was god thank you jesus uh, he was with uh, he was with god in the beginning and through him all things were made so through him all things were made through whom to the word so the word so the word is very powerful so we understand that through him everything was made so word is so whatever we speak out of our mouth it is very powerful so you know it's a small the tongue is very if you feel it's a very small thing but it has a lot of power so proverbs 1821 it says that life and death are in the power of your tongue so you whatever you speak you will eat the fruits of it so now when god saw when god in genesis chapter when he saw when we have read it that when he saw darkness he didn't say that is there let there be darkness he just ignored the darkness he said let there be light so now when we go through any issues in our life okay any particular issue let it be whatever issue in our life but when we glorify that issue you know we make we make things very big and we say you know uh, supposing now supposing somebody fights with us or whatever whatever happens and we go we we see in, through our carnal mind oh this person said this to me so i have to retaliate i have to say this to him but the word of god says what it says that you know love your god that is a commandment and the second one is love your neighbor as yourself and then the main chapter this is what he's saying is 1 peter 3 9 he says is do not repay evil with evil but you repay evil with good because you will inherit your blessing so whenever a person retaliates to you what are you going to do you are going to repay him with good so you are go not going to say that you know okay fine that uh, uh, you know because when you do that when you do that because god is love and when you do that when you show love the enemy flees away this is how you submit to god and resist the devil you know we can do it the fight i'll tell you the first minute of that uh, thing no with that fight whenever something happens no that is the time uh, that is your main uh, you know of battle you know you can the moment you somebody opens the mouth you just have to say i'm sorry that's it whether you are whether you are you are wrong right don't even bother about it when you when you uh, uh, decrease okay and let that person do whatever he wants to if you cannot if you if you if you really feel like you know retaliating back or something you know your that spirit man is like uh, not so uh, uh, strong and you you're giving into that flesh is not very so what you're doing is you know you are getting into the flesh and you want to say something back to that person so at that minute you, what you have to do is 
if you cannot say sorry to the person at least say thank you jesus praise you jesus keep on praising jesus that much at least you can do but don't open your mouth that person will automatically the holy holy spirit will do its work you don't have to bother about anybody else so this is what i have learned and that takes us to romans 12 2 because when you say that you know do not be confirmed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so how are you renewing your mind every day by all these fights that take place it is not by going to the bible you have you have the bible with you you are reading the bible you are understanding uh, the, the the and the and then when when the time comes the word speaks to you because you are already meditating on it you know it that is, if you do not be in the word if you are not in the word at all and you are all the time in the world the how will the word how will you expect you know the word to speak to you and then we expect god to help us and do take away our troubles and everything but you are not fellowshipping with the word we are not doing all this i i am talking about myself if i am not doing that then how will god how will you expect god to help you so this is how you know uh, uh, you uh, conquer things and you uh, you know you uh, be victorious because i overcome i i am an overcomer how do you overcome i overcome evil with good so evil with good is what when you when somebody says something now there are people who call lot of things to me but i don't even say anything because i say praise god thank you jesus i know who i am i know who i am that's it because when you understand your identity in christ everything takes a back seat whoever says because nobody on this planet has the jesus jesus is jesus and he loves me more than anybody he loves me more than my parents he loves me more than anybody so for me the first is jesus and when i love jesus what does he say last time you had read it uh, priya that when you, how do you understand that uh, you love the lord is when you follow his commandments when you when you are in his commandments when you understand when you uh, do everything as per what he says you know that is the time because only flee faith can please god not your candles you may go yesterday i saw that person you so many candles in the house so many i mean your flowers your garment your garlands nothing can please god only your faith your heart god wants your heart he doesn't want anything and also let me i don't know whether i can but yes i will say this you know many people tell me oh you're a hindu you are born from a brahmin family and how come they how come people allowed you to be a i said no there is nothing great about it in the beginning god only created man and a woman he didn't create all this hindu muslims all those things and and the word of god says jesus christ died for the world he did not cry so the so the so that we should not perish he didn't want a single soul on this earth to perish so he died for a muslim person also all religions are made by us god only wants you and me he wants our heart that's all that he wants and god is beautiful i'm saying he is the wonderful god he is a loving god he will do anything for you only give your time your heart to him even when you are doing your cooking you may have so many things in your in, in your day to do even you are studying or whatever first i mean at least uh, you know praise him do something before you start your work you know uh, when you are cooking put on some uh, praise and worship songs fellowship with him that's a good thing you know because another thing what i learned was uh, from sister kiyomi's class is you know because i had this you know always you know that flesh used to speak so uh, when she was speaking about you know uh, when you are like you know you you have to not satisfy the cravings of your flesh like for instance i i love to have tea four five times so now i curb it no nothing doing uh, these are all fleshy thoughts i don't want i want my spirit man to grow how will my spirit man grow is by you know uh, not satisfying the uh, the cravings of my uh, flesh so this is how now the second step that god is there and when you submit yourself to god you know you don't know where god will take you you really don't know where god will take you and uh, and i really tell you i don't understand you know that when people say that oh that man is so powerful and this woman is so powerful every everybody on this earth is powerful because when you accept the lord and when you are born again the spirit of god comes to dwell in each one of us the same spirit that dwells in each one of us the only thing is when we have to give our our hearts to jesus i hope this has blessed you all I, this is all by the power of the holy spirit i spoke i have nothing of me praise jesus thank you lord wow sister what a beautiful 
like you know beautiful teaching and sister when you said you know that god loves us equally there is a scripture in the book of acts do you want that do you want yeah, to yeah. know that there Praise is no god. partiality there is no partiality yes there is no partiality god yeah. treats everyone the same praise god and and you are absolutely right it is a deception that okay only uh, this person is powerful that person is powerful that same power that is in you is in me because all of us are given the same measure of faith praise god yes maybe the way god might use you is different from the way he is going to use me that is why see sister the area where you were once upon a time weak and you started you know uh, getting better now when you see people struggling in that area you are able to empathize very nicely with them praise god thank you jesus you are able to be patient with them without getting irritated without being like a hey, what this person is not understanding how many times do i explain this because like for example even i can relate to you sister because uh, you know i was in depression and i i know how it is when you are in that situation how you feel you know it's a strong hold and it takes time to come out of it whereas somebody else would would who has not gone through that experience gets very impatient when people don't understand so that is how god has selected people like in different fields like for example he has selected you for the kind of things you are doing right now the kind of people you are ministering to whereas for me he has given people of my age group people going through similar issues i am the laborer for them like that god has picked each one of us as laborers praise jesus thank you lord so Thank it's you. very beautiful praise god sister i'm just so happy i learned so many things i learned last but not the least i want to share one more powerful this might bless somebody i'm really telling you because you know what i'll tell you priya you know uh, i know you know when i i'm talking about myself i'm not talking about anybody else i used to wonder you know priya when my friends used to tell me okay jesus means uh, he's a god and uh, fine this is a bible you have to read and we have to go for praise and worship okay fine it's a prayer meeting we have to go there and then sing songs and you know uh, like uh, then uh, there are many healings that but i am not so uh, you know uh, i'm not so worthy i'm not so holy and that is the reason you know uh, people other people experience the healing and i don't experience it i don't experience the power of but it is all you know it is not in going for prayer meetings it is not going here and there and there and there no it is only by the the time that you give for god and you know when you are in the word and i'm telling you priya it is it's a must for everybody each and every body of us to read the bible you know we might listen to teachings but at least at least you know you speak you read two chapters per day i am and many people will tell you no 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 it's not but i am telling you there are there are times when you know when i have read the bible only I, the word speaks to me and something happens when you know the word you know the holy spirit speaks to me through the bible i know i i and many people tell, told me also no 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 uh, we we never read the bible we only go to the teaching and the holy spirit no it is a must it's a must to read the word of god you know uh, uh, recently i had corona virus okay when i had corona virus that day when mummy told me that now you have to go and you have to stay separately it because my mummy was my mummy is 76 so the doctor said and see whatever it is you know she is not so much in the word as what so i have to be patient with her so i said okay mummy i will go so now i said okay i will go now okay i will go and stay where she said you have to stay separate alone so i was like the first thing that happened is i will have to stay alone and alone means i will get fear of dark so how will i stay so it this happened in last year august so i um, i came home opened the door and now in this flat i was all alone and i said lord how do i uh, you know first and foremost my thing was how did i get corona virus because i am confessing i am the body of christ and lord how did i get corona virus so something uh, you know i went into the condemnation mode 
then uh, somehow the holy spirit you know it and that person there on the call when i was calling up uh, when uh, the doctors were calling me up and they were telling me that you have you have corona you are corona positive three times that lady told me finally i got so upset with that lady i said ma'am you are not corona virus no you are not positive no i am positive so let me see about it i said i am okay i said ma'am you don't so i was irritated i should not have been so uh, that was it then when i came into the house uh, you know i don't know priya that voice was so audible it was so audible i tell you he, it said you know i will i will never do not fear i will never forsake you even your nursing mother will forsake you but not i this is this much only this do not fear and then this words came and after that you know i had peace in my heart and i came and i slept i could not even walk my my uh, uh, fever was 106 107 it was rising to that okay my uh, uh, oxygen saturation was going to 88 89 and now i said lord because the doctors had told me if it is below 95 you have to immediately call the ambulance and you have to go to goa medical college and admit yourself there so i decided no i said whatever happens i said lord i depend on you and i slept here alone started reading to papa johnson's teachings i only went to aliston's class and i only told him that you know this is what has happened and aliston prayed over me and sister janet also prayed over me that's all that was only but that prayer i tell you somebody else's prayers also i know how much limitations it has you know because it is somebody else's prayer only when it comes as a revelation to you only that can help you so i came and your faith so i came and i slept here in this bed same bed i slept here and at night the holy spirit reminded me he said go and get a glass of water from the kitchen and i am say telling lord lord i can't oh, i can't uh, uh, walk because my throat was completely jammed totally jammed i could not open my mouth and i am saying lord how will i walk and then papa johnson's uh, you know talk comes to me saying that uh, the weak shall say i am strong and i said in my mind i'm talking because i can't talk because my mouth is completely i said the weak shall say i'm strong and the power with the power of the holy spirit i went to the kitchen got hold of a glass of water and i came back and i slept here and on my side table i kept the water and the holy spirit is telling me just pour it into your mouth and the holy spirit is talking to me i it is not me at all i know it is not me at all because these words are coming from the holy spirit only just as lord just as you have turned the water into wine at the wedding of cana so also this water is being turned into your precious blood lord i know you're present here with me and lord i am your child and you are healing me you are my doctor lord you are my healer lord i don't know anything but this is coming to me and it came to me and i just poured the water and i after that melbourne breakfast so i just went to the melbourne breakfast i'm listening to brother linus i'm listening to uh, papa johnson i'm listening everybody's voices are coming i can't i can't do anything i can't it doesn't register i'm only listening to the voices and i went off to sleep after that next morning when i got up i could literally not only open my mouth i was i could sing i could literally sing that was the first miracle i experienced and after that there was no fright i can stay alone anywhere i can go anywhere alone i can stay anywhere i don't i don't get scared of the darkness nothing so one 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 you know when you depend on god i'm sorry i've taken too much time i think praise god no sister what is what you're sharing is very beautiful and another revelation i'd like to you know tell everyone is i've realized this what you said about personally spending time in the reading the word is very important now i'll just tell you this okay praise god thank you jesus uh, just when sister was sharing this verse no john chapter 1 verse 3 i have read this so many times but just now as she was speaking this the holy spirit gave me a revelation and i'd like to share that through him that is verse 3 that says through him all things were made without him nothing was made that has been made this is a important key for my creative miracle now you know before in the past when brother used to say you have to speak the word like especially the prayers in the white book and all no why you have to speak the white book why you have to say i used to be like but it, it's faith is something that you believe 
what does it have to got to say with confessing the scriptures but this scripture spoke to me very personally through him that means through the word of god all things were made and in all things my miracle comes my creative miracle comes so this is the creative power of the word and that word can be created only by what i speak so when i open my mouth and speak the word maybe in the area of finances maybe in the area of health maybe in the area of anything i am opening my mouth and giving rise to my creative miracle that means i am speaking in faith and it is the holy spirit who's going and getting the creative miracle praise god so that is why you know and even sister florita said this that we have to keep the word of god in front of our eyes now you may know the scripture by heart you may say okay yeah i know philippians 4:13 says i can do all things to christ who strengthens me but there's a difference now when you were speaking no sister and this was this verse was john chapter 1 verse 3 was in front of me the holy spirit could give the revelation the logos became the rema that is only possible when i spend time reading his word when i spend time with the word in front of me thank you jesus so sister thank you very much for revealing that praise yes. god praise god thank you jesus nicole would you like to add to something whatever we are learning today anything that comes to your mind honestly priya like all these days i haven't joined the classes and everything and my mind was like drifted off somewhere else and i had like a, a lot of issues to speak about but then you know nothing i just switched off i just switched this on randomly and then honestly through uh, the sister who just spoke all my one weeks you know whatever i was going through all that was answered through her so literally i yes, give god glory to god. god thank you holy spirit see how the holy spirit works it was i don't i didn't say anything i don't even know what i said you know nicole i think it was you only who was talking the other day about yourself how you were very conscious and all about yourself right yeah yeah so so similar way i also had that you know when i was young when i was you know in that uh, you know i'll tell you this is a te- testimony that uh, uh, it will help you nicole uh, you know at least you can go out in public you can fellowship with people you know there were times when you know there were uh, people who used to uh, because you know uh, i was very shy and i could not talk i don't know why but i always felt i had some inferiority complex within me i could not talk i could not uh, uh, fellowship with people i could not uh, this so i was always left to look and i used to feel you know that i uh, uh, you know uh, uh, but i did not have the word that time like now how we have the zoom classes how we have now at, at uh, when now i can see with priya and gisel at this age they are you know so much of progress uh, they are so much progressing in this but now uh, for me uh, i don't i don't uh, you know condemn myself or anything because you know what now when i get cases like that you know uh, i i understand their problem so i know how what i have gone through what how what, how my journey has been so when i share something so you know everything god uses for your good you know it is not uh, now which is the chapter in romans uh, priya which says that god works uh, good uh, uh, for ev- even anything i'll put that yeah. script praise god yeah so nicole i i would like to tell you you know you always uh, uh, you know uh, i don't know how much of uh, this you have you know when identity of christ when you keep going through the identity of christ and understanding what is your identity you know i tell you nicole you just make jesus uh, the holy spirit as your best friend and you see where you reach i am telling you spend time with the word of god and start uh, fellowshipping with the holy spirit and you see where hol- the holy spirit will take you praise god thank you jesus yeah and uh, one more thing you know i personally feel is when 
when i have experienced growth is when i have started going and teaching whatever little i learned it like you know, yeah. never more put thoughts saying that see you don't know as much as brother johnson knows they have been in the world for so many years you're just a beginner what do you know hey listen you have a testimony of how god brought you out you know when i started uh, ministering to people all i had was just one testimony of how i came out of depression and that only i went on teaching like sharing with everybody on that topic and as i started going more and more that is the time i saw how the holy spirit worked but the thing is we have to take a step in faith so like i want to tell this you know growth takes place by two things one is you learn the word spend time pray in tongues and also teach that word it might be you don't have to take a one hour class you don't have to take maybe a bible study as such maybe around you there might be somebody who is little upset you can just sit with that person talk to that person maybe a friend who is feeling low you can just go and talk to that person few kind words you and you see how the holy spirit will work through you i'm pretty sure that's how sister sara also started praise god let me tell you something you know i uh, i uh, it was what i was earlier it is not now but uh, but i'm not ashamed to say this uh, because i'm talking because of the uh, to glorify god so earlier times you know when i had problems or issues or whatever whenever i used to call up a friend and i used to say please can you come i want i want to talk to you i'm i'm so much i don't know what to do you know that was the thing the other day a lady called me up from bombay and she said sister this is my problem and i know that you know that uh, i feel very good when you talk to me so is it possible for she never knew where i was so is it possible to for you to come right away to me and i was just thinking my god i said this is how praise god sister i think you got muted this to people this is how you know the same things you know the same things whatever you have experienced in your life depression cases this that and then you the lord sometimes uh, you know allows it to happen because when you go through all this you know where the person is going wrong and you t- you would want to tell the person no 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 this can be stopped here right now and this is where you know where you are going wrong and this is how you get your success so beautiful it is you know the lord is really i tell you once you depend on the lord no i don't now let me be very frank with you uh, there are many people who are my neighbors and all those they whenever i step out of the house and whenever they say something like you know no no this you have to do this happened that happened as i don't know anything what happens in this world and even if a person says she's a dumb she's an ignorant person she doesn't know what happened i am not interested at all i don't know what happened to ukraine i don't know what happened people talk i i don't even i know what my word of god says that's it i don't know what happens in the world. i don't have a newspaper i don't read the newspaper so i don't know and i don't i i put on the tv only because of supposing i had to hear my word of god now that too i don't i have a tab so i put it on my tab so i don't i don't i don't have any connection with the world i have broken all connections you can say with the world it's only the lord whenever i go shopping whenever I, holy spirit please lead me whether i should buy this thing or i should not buy this thing morning when i get up i say lord jesus please seal my mobile with the pres- with your precious blood let only calls which glorify your name come to me and only that comes earlier i had to tell a person i am busy or something like that but now everything that i do i depend on the holy spirit i don't depend on anybody priya praise god yes that is so beautiful sister when you have the holy spirit you don't need anybody else to guide you he is the best teacher praise yeah. god thank you and jesus sometimes, you know, nicole nicole it, it may happen no that you know that oh what is she she is not our type of person let it be if a person say if the worldly person says that 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 thing it's okay doesn't matter but don't Uh, get into all these kind of you know of course you people now that you all are students you have to uh, fellowship but more so say what the word of god says don't think what the world says this is you know i little thing that i had to say yes praise god thank you jesus
See, sister, so beautifully. It's like this class was prepared for Nicole itself. Like we didn't know, you didn't know. The Holy Spirit only yeah. knew. Like so, that five minutes of praying in tongues was so powerful. All the, you know, mystery. And only last but not the least, I would also say this also. Those people, you know, who you know, religious certain people who have religious mindset and all, we always feel only when you are baptized, then you get the uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit. The I I got the baptism. I could speak the I could speak in tongues much before, much before I uh, was uh, you know uh, what you call uh, baptized. I mean years before I I, I got my baptism, I got the whole, uh, gift of tongues. And I'll tell you, the Holy Spirit is so wonderful. He's such a loving God. I tell you. Uh, there was a time when I uh, had gone for a, a, a an outreach and and I I never knew the Lord at that time so I had I was like you know so much of this thing I said Lord I repent for doing the pujas to doing this and all that because I was a Hindu Lord I repent and somebody had told me you go in fasting but actually fasting is for what fasting is for building your spiritual muscles but that time I never knew so I fasted and uh, but I was like li literally repenting. And when I repented and I was, when the song was going on and the hymn was going on, I was literally crying. I was getting my deliverance. And that is the time the Holy Spirit gave me the gift of tongues. And my tongue was literally flying in the air. That much it was. It was so powerful. I could experience it. So God is wonderful. God is good. You don't need to, uh, you know, uh, follow big, big things or whatever. Simple thing, you know, Jesus, teach me this. Holy Spirit, teach me this. Just Depend on the Holy Spirit. That's all. Everything is done. Your work is done for the day. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Praise God. Thank you, sister, so much for, you know, it was a beautiful session. The I Holy enjoyed Spirit. it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Even I enjoyed work. When you talk about Jesus and the Holy Spirit, that's the only thing that I love. I don't want to talk. <laughs> Praise God. Okay. So we will end today's session. Sister, would yes. you like to make the closing prayer? Nicole, I think Nicole can make it. What, I whatever so. the Holy Spirit has spoken to her. Uh, I think she's not here. Maybe some technical no? okay. internet. Okay. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for, for speaking through me. In this session, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for lifting me up from that mess, Lord Jesus. And I know, Lord Jesus, this name that you have given me, Sarah. Lord, I thank you for this name. Because there are so many women, so many souls in my womb, Lord. I am pregnant with so many. Lord, I thank you that you are releasing one by one, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And in the same way, Lord Jesus, the same power that I, 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 you have, I have felt, Lord, I release this anointing to everyone listening to this session. I, I release this anointing. Lord, I pray today that everyone listening this, it has touched their hearts. I thank you, Lord, that it has touched their hearts, Lord Jesus. And everyone, Lord Jesus, has given their hearts to you, Lord Jesus. And from today, Lord Jesus, all of us, Lord Jesus, present here, Lord Jesus, are only going to focus on you and you, Lord, and no one else, Lord, just the word of God, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, because there alone lies our victory, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I make this prayer. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise God. Beautiful prayer, sister. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this day. We okay, we'll close today and we'll meet tomorrow. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye.